Hello everyone, I'm Apostle Denise Chase of Denise Chase Ministries and welcome to day number 16 of the 40 Days of Renewed Hope. Our thought today is finding God in His divinity and I'd like to start that thought with the scripture. Go with me to Romans chapter number 5 starting at verse 1 and I will be reading from the God's Word version. It says, now that we have God's approval by faith, we have peace with God because of what our Lord Jesus Christ has done. Through Christ, we can approach God and stand in his favor. So we brag because of our confidence. That word confidence in the King James is hope that we will receive glory from God. Verse number three, but that's not all. We also brag when we are suffering. We know that suffering creates endurance. Endurance creates character and character creates confidence. We are not ashamed to have this confidence because God's love has been poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit who has been given us, given to us. Amen. I want to read that same scripture in the King James Version. It says, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we also have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience and patience experience and experience hope and hope make it not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Listen, as we're going through, amen, we cannot get weary in well-doing. We've got to know that God is with us. Finding God, amen, in his divinity is to know, amen, that he is greater than our situation and circumstance. Understanding that the, the deity of God is bigger than our human abilities, amen, is greater, amen, than our human nature. We need God. Amen. And the scripture here reaffirms for us. Amen. And reassures us. Amen. That when we stand in hope, when we stand in confidence in God, we must know. Amen. That whether we're doing good or whether, amen, we're going through a test or a trial that God is with us. We're coming out on the other side. We still have the victory. Glory to God. Amen. We can be assured. Amen. That when we cry out to him, that God is listening. Amen. With an attentive ear. Amen. To hear and to answer according to his will. Amen. For our lives. Glory to God. Amen. So as you are, your, your hope is renewed. Amen. Be confident in this. Amen. That God will perfect those things that concern you. He is concerned about you. You are on his mind. Don't let your faith grow weary. This is not the time, amen, to throw in the towel. This is not the time, amen, to doubt or to give up. If, if there's anything that we must be doing right here, right up and through here, amen, is pressing into God and decreeing and declaring that I know God is with me, amen, I will not lose faith. I will not be weary in well-doing. I will not lose hope. Amen. Because I, amen, will come out with the victory. Why? Because God is on my side. I have a greater power at work for me. Amen. So, to, so today, Amen. As you meditate upon the word, amen. As it stirs in your heart, amen. Let your faith and your hope be renewed, amen, in the God of our salvation. Glory to God, amen. Wherever you are in the world, whatever your place is in it, you are within God's reach. Be encouraged today and know we are never lost, amen. As we end today, will you pray this prayer with me, amen. Lord, anchor us in godly hope. In the name of Jesus, amen. 